On Penguin Island, the keepers are checking up on indigo and amber and their chicks, Munch and McCoy. One's not looking good at all. Right. McCoy is giving the keepers cause for concern. And he's cold. Very cold. Right. Yeah, he's lost four. Yeah, we'll have to supplementary feed. If a penguin chick does start to lose weight rapidly, they're just going to become weak. And the weaker they get, they won't beg as much, so they won't beg to the parents for food. The parents will just think there's something wrong with it, and they could just abandon it, and then it would just die. Keepers are hoping extra fish will boost McCoy's weight and chance of survival. Obviously, something's gone on here. They're not be feeding their chicks that well. So it's a fine line out between giving them something to eat but not giving them too much so that the parents hopefully will still carry on feeding. Back on the island, parents Indigo and Amber spend the next two hours bringing more fish to Munch and McCoy. But their efforts may not be enough. That doesn't look very good. Yeah, it's underneath, but he's not moving. Does, oh, unless it's... Let me see. Let me see. quick, isn't it? Gone. Yeah. Stiff as a board. Well, I wasn't expecting that. That was really odd. Yeah, I didn't That's expect it to go. But you thought, oh, there's a good chance of maybe pulling this one through, and then it's gone in two hours that quickly. It's, um... Surprising. Having lost McCoy, Mum Amber is now keeping a close eye on her remaining infant, Munch. Penguin Island is facing an emergency. Keepers believe there's an infection in the colony threatening their chicks. Quite a worrying time because we've lost a few and that's pretty sad. They all seem to have the same sort of thing as well. So for it to happen in a number of nests is quite worrying. Indigo and Amber's remaining chick, Munch, has lost nearly half his body weight. If you want to go do the main port, I'm going to just go check on munch, check if everything's OK. Everybody feels responsible for their animals. When you choose the name, it's sort of... It's not your penguin, but it's, it's the one that you... It's your name. I had a dream about him last night. I dreamt he died. I would struggle if I was the one that found him if he'd, if he'd died. heart does take that plunge when you think, oh, no, is he not moving? Oh, good. He's breathing, so that must mean he's alive. Oh, I don't know why I had such a horrible feeling today. I just had this weird, like... <laughs> is he OK? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's... All, well, he's breathing, so... Right, fingers crossed he's put on weight. <sighs> Munch has made it through another day, but his condition is still a major concern. Baby. Right, Munchie. Oh, stop losing weight. That's not good, because he's lost. He's lost another good 50 grams. Oh, dear. Uh, right, OK. He's lost a good, like, 50 grams since... Well, 30, 34 grams since yesterday morning, but 50 yeah. grams since yesterday afternoon. Yeah. So he's, he's 200 grams less than he was this time last week. Munch is facing a fight for survival. It's worrying when we have a few chicks who are poorly and you're trying to 
muddle your way through it. It's almost as if you're walking through treacle. You know, you're really, you're going through the motions and you're just hoping you're going to come out the other side with some of the chicks okay. When there was things going on that nobody really understood, that was when it starts to hit home that this was quite serious. You know, it did cross my mind that we might lose them all. Whoa. 